Hi, and welcome to Fertilizer. Today I have a guitar here which brought my friend in. Um, he bought it just new, it's a new model from Harley Benton. It's a Harley Benton ST Modern Plus. It's a Stratocaster style of guitar in a modern way. Um, looks pretty cool. I like this uh, sunburst colors on this and the roasted maple neck. Um, but I think if you're interested in this guitar, you already know the specs, so I'm not getting into this right here. Um, the topic today should be just uh, checking the guitar, how's the fret quality, and if we find something on the frets, what we can do with the fertilizer tools to enhance the playability and also the string action. And yeah, first of all, um, we will check the fretboard with the fret banger. If we find any high fret, we have an extra video for the fret banger as well. If we find a high fret, we use the fertilizer fret shaper. This is our solution for fret spot leveling. So you can, if you find one high fret, use this tool to level the fret quite easily and very nice and affordably. Also a video in our YouTube channel. Please watch it if you're interested. And in the end, if the fret spot leveling is done, I use this little guy here, our first tool, the fertilizer fret polishing system to give the fret a nice polish and then we're finished. So, if you like this topic, please like, share, of course, to your guitar fellows and subscribe. Let's go. Yeah, so now we are here with this Harley Benton ST Modern Plus. And there's a lot of plus on this guitar. The rounded fret ends, the rounded fretboard, the vintage style locking tuners are cool, nice pickups and uh, a really good weight actually. It uh, has only 3.2 kilos. This is very good for an HSS style Super Strat. Yeah, I will now check the frets if they are level or if there's a higher fret. I already have the assumption that here on the 13th fret uh, is a problem because when you play the 13th fret on each string you have a really annoying buzz and this might be because the 14th fret is too high. So this means when you play the 13th fret here the string travels over the 14th fret and then down to the bridge that it doesn't have enough clearance between the fret and the string. So this leads to buzz or to a dead note when it's really high. So this is my assumption. Yeah, and for this uh, purpose, I use the Fretalizer Fret Banger. This is our fret rocker multi-tool for setup. Can, uh, you have here a nice uh, string action gauge and a nice table here with the recommended string actions for bass, acoustic or electric guitar and you have here a nice scale for example when you want to measure the pickup height and you have it on one side in inches and on the other one you have it in in metric okay i'm starting here around the 14th thread because i assume that here is a higher level i'm checking the frets and i'm trying to rock so that uh, i will find a higher fret and here you already see 
This was my assumption, the entire thread is too high. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do now, on this thread number 14, you can also mark it if you like. Number 14. So this red thread. This will now be leveled with the thread shaper. And this is also an easy tool to use. It looks like a thread rocker and uh, it has here a small notch for example and this notch is exactly as deep as the paper is thick so this means when you wrap a piece of paper around the section here here and then you can level the threads the section with the sanding grid will be in the middle and here on the left and on the right you will use the neighboring threads as uh, guidelines so that the middle thread gets exactly the same height like the neighboring threads. So for example this red thread number 14 you check which lengths do you need this one here is appropriate here you can see the notch and for this small notch we cut a piece of sanding paper so you have here this notch here and we cut it already a um, fitting piece of paper for this part and we'll use it now for the leveling. So we wrap it around like this and we grab the tool like this. Very easy. So make sure it's in place here and then we can use this tool now to sand this thread down. Like I said, the middle part here is now with the sanding grid on the middle thread and the left and the right thread, this one and this one, they are just the guidelines for the middle thread to get the same radius and the same height. So, and if you feel a bit of the friction getting less, this might be a good sign that the height is getting lower. But it can also be a sign that the paper is worn off a bit and you need to change it. So here you can see it. You just turn it a bit. And then you go further on thread number 14. <coughs> this tool has a very nice ergonomic shape. So the edge sections here are thicker. So when you work with this, like this, and you need to press down on the fretboard, you're not sliding down like this, because you have a nice small grip here. And this makes working with that tool really easy and efficient. So, the 
Okay, we have taken a bit off. Now we check again. Yeah, it's almost gone. Here nothing anymore. Here yeah, very silent. Much better than before here on the corners. Here is a bit higher. So I'm checking again. Yeah. That's good. So now this fret is level with these two neighboring frets. And what I'm gonna do now is I use our fret polishing kit in the premium bundle. And it comes here with different grids. We have 1500, 2400, 4000 and 8000. And I'm gonna start now with 1500. Wrap it around. Fixing it with a rubber, making sure it's sitting nice here on the spot where it should be. And then what it does, the and then what it does is that this small notch here in the fret polishing kit will get, or the, the micro mesh will adjust to the small notch here in the fret polishing kit so that you can reach the round surface of the fret with the polishing material. So, 1500, I have here also our fretboard protector and I'm using it like this. I hold it from from the top and then I have enough space here to work. It's quite easily. So fret number 14. And just really using the weight of the hand to get all the small scratches from the fret surface. So, here you can see, there. Um, I make a small check with my fingernail, if this is smooth, and it is actually very smooth. So I can go on now with the next grid, the 2400. Take it here, wrap it around the block, fix it with the rubber. Check that this is sitting here. Nice, very good. Using this separate protector and then same technique wrap your hand around the block and give the fret a nice workout um, yeah and only use the weight of your hand you don't need to press a lot so 2400 done 4,000, rubbering, 
check it's sitting good yes fretboard protector checking if the groove is in and then yes just give it a nice polish with the weight of your hand only this then the last grid 8000 protector positioning like this and then you can use it very nice and easy. So and these are stainless steel frets. So our tool is working also there very good. Um, yeah, it looks flawless. Very, very nice. So here we have the back side and you'll see that the body is really well shaped a nice belly cut as well as a nice part here in the neck pocket section it's really nicely cut out and it's very comfortable to play so not annoying at all the opposite is uh, the case and the nicely flamed maple neck and this vintage style locking tuner. Okay, I've unscrewed also the pickguard to check how it looks inside and that you can also have an impression. So, yeah, the cavity is uh, shielded properly as it looks. And yeah, uh, the pickups also look really high quality with the cloth wire here and uh, the wiring and the uh, solar points they look also very, very good. Some people said that this humbucker is shaking a bit because they only use this um, rubber here and no springs. In this case here in this guitar it's not too bad. Yeah, um, some people will like that they have a full size pot here. So no mini pot. In my opinion they're a bit too too heavy to turn, but this is a matter of taste. Um, yeah, the push pull, and here you see it's really also with some resistors here, and overall it looks quite nice. Of course, would be maybe also a bit better to have also some shielding here on the pickguard, but in general, really, really good job. Okay, that's it for today. We have found a high fret here on this uh, fretboard, which we corrected with the fretalizer fret shaper. And afterwards we gave this fret also a nice polish with a fretalizer fret polishing kit. So the Harley Benton ST Modern Plus is now ready to go. It has a really nice action now, um, it's complementing also due to the compound radius from 12 to 16 you can go really low on the high frets and it's uh, fun to play uh, on this as well. Yeah, then subscribe, share and like the video and we'll see you next time. Ciao.